let's try to show off running local VMX. Okay, here we see a video of me talking. There's a little bit of lag with the recording. Let me open my mouth, ah, close it. Move my hand open, up, down, left, right. All right, let's load a hand model. I've just loaded the model library. And I see I have some example models in my library here. I'm going to load the left hand model here and we're going to wait a couple of seconds until the model is loaded. We're going to see what models we have loaded right now. We see that we have the left hand model. It's open and running. So let's see what happens when we lift up the left hand. All right. Now let's see how fast this particular model is running. Let's enable the debug pane. The debug pane tells us that the detect time is taking approximately 0.4 seconds. Notice that this is running localhost, so this is running a local VMX server. In the parameters option, what I'm going to do here is very quickly change the detector quality. Detector quality we see is all the way up at 3000, but what happens if we bring it down to 1? If we bring it down to 1, we see that the detect time is something like 0 0.06 a second. Total AJAX time, everything transferring to the server and back is taking approximately 0 0.12, 0 0.13, uh, 0 0.1 seconds. So with this faster detector, let's see what happens when we move uh, things up and down. All right, let's keep this faster detector running for a second here. we see that sometimes the detection goes away and in the debug output we're seeing what the current top detection is and this current top detection has a negative score so by default it's not being displayed on the screen we bring our hand back up see that it's there sometimes the hand becomes too small in the image and we're seeing that the top detection is actually around the hand but it's not being displayed Oh, now it's being displayed. If I move the hand away, move around, it doesn't display. If I lift up my other hand, we see that it's actually uh, not detecting it very well. But what happens if we put the correct hand in that place? We see in this place, it is the top detection, which we can go to display threshold and change it to something like negative 2. By changing the display threshold to negative 2, it will always show the top detection. So now we're seeing that this particular model can detect my hand with a higher score on the left hand side. Now if I move my hand away, we'll see that it's displaying the top detection, which ends up being the top part of my head. So I'm going to go back with the parameters and change the display threshold back to negative 1. So now it's not showing the hand. When I bring it, it shows it back. So let's see what else we could do. Let's load up another model real quick. And we're going to load an eye model here. I think an eye model is going to be pretty nice. So we see that everything slows down as it's loading. It can still detect a hand. Oh, now we're seeing the eye detection sort of show up. All right. So why are there two detections here? It's because it's detecting two eyes. What happens if we block the eyes? Oh, they go away. Now we can bring back the eyes here. We can bring back the hand. All right. Now we have eye and hand.
we can go to the eye detector and change the detector quality such that it's set all the way at 1. And with the detector quality set all the way at 1, what it's going to do is it's only going to be able to detect one particular instance. It's going to take the top scoring one. So let's see what happens if we keep swapping with the eyes. You can see now we can make... Well, What happens if we load another model here? Let's try to load an A model. This is a model train of some sketches of an A. But we're seeing now that displays are all over the place because this had cached its display threshold parameter and it's at negative 2. So if we bring it at negative 1, like a better default, all the detections go away. And let's see if we could try to make an A. So let me turn off the eye detector in the left hand detector and now I see that the debug pane is in fact too hard to tell if I can actually make the A so what I'm going to do is change the detector quality to 1 so it's only going to display the top detection and what I'm going to do Let's change the display threshold such that it's negative two, so it's always showing the top scoring thing. And let's see what happens if we make that if we try to make an A right here. Oops. Oh, oh, we can see that we we got the score, the box to be yellow. That means this is a detection with a score that is above negative one. And you can see now the scores are something like negative 1, negative 2. There we go, we made an A. To see this look slightly better, we can make this at negative 1. I can show you that. Oh. I got the A to show up now. So how could I make an A sign with my fingers? Um. It's the top detection, but it isn't above negative one, unfortunately. There we go. We got the A. Can we make it somewhere else? Oh, there we go. We got a nice A right there. Oh, look at that. We got an A. And we can make it go away. Oh, we got the A, and we can make it go away. Awesome. So just for fun, I'll go away from this model library here. Just for fun, I'm going to go into the model editor of the A and check what some of the positives and the negatives are. Here I'm showing the least scoring 20 positives versus the top scoring 20 negatives. We see in this case that the top negatives are actually A-like things. 
or just smaller versions of the A's. All right, let's try the A one more time, and that's going to be it. There we go. We got an A. All right. Thanks for listening, guys.